डालिंग्स हमने लिखा था विद एन एस और वो टाइटल बन गया और फिर हम एस लगाते गए लगाते गए लगाते गए एंड नाउ एवरीबडी इज जस्ट टॉकिंग टू मी इन प्लॉरल विच इज ग्रेट आई थिंक दैट दैट कैंड ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स आई एम वेरी हैप्पी एंड ग्रेटफुल Alia and the film helps so much because you know with her fan base the reach is far more you you know because as storytellers all you want is your story to reach more and more people Shefali is very organic but mm-hmm. she's she, she, she you know I kept talking to her about her character and I prepped with her for a long time before we went on set but you know she absorbs everything and then the shoot day is the shoot day mm-hmm. and she comes there and she performs yeah. and she's uh, very very spontaneous which is lovely mm-hmm. which is lovely because you know uh, comic timing needs that chemistry needs that and this film needed all of that so yeah she's amazing i love her hi i'm jasmeet kareen and you're watching me on mirchi plus hi this is amina sheikh here and with me today i have the gorgeous and talented director jasmeet kareen welcoming you on mirchi plus thank you i'm just I'm just happy with the fact that मैंने बराबर pronunciation किया कि नाम का इस बार सही था इस बार सही था इस बार सही because after so many retakes finally I have to like you know learn so I must say you're a darling thank you because you have produced such a darling's movie I must say and you know I loves it वो accent वो जो तरीके से वो लोग ने बात किया है जो तरीके का वो delivery हुआ है पूरा film का वो काफी it's very entertaining enthusiastic and it's a roller coaster ride I would say. it has been a roller coaster right because it has emotions on different levels you know uh, there are certain scenes which are very you know not that great to watch yeah. it makes you like fuck why this scene is coming you know oh my god this is why 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 you want to really want want to you know have to direct something like this but at the same time it has a message on this so what do you have to say about your project your debut project darlings oh well we are dealing with this issue so one wanted to be very sensitive around it mm-hmm. obviously which is why the first half an hour of the film especially has to hit home it has to hit hard because you have to understand what the character is going through mm-hmm. uh so the challenge was to deal with it very sensitively i don't say think it was a challenge it was a responsibility and uh, i think if you are sensitive towards what you are in an issue wo dikh jata hai uh baki the lingo the tone now everybody is talking to me in plurals which is great i didn't think it will pick up that much i knew ke you know darlings humne likha tha with an s aur wo title ban gaya aur fir hum s lagate gaye lagate gaye lagate gaye and now everybody is just talking to me in plural which is great i think that's that kind of response hmm. uh, i am very happy and grateful we are getting lots of love for darlings so that's amazing it feels very good at the same connected. time yeah. at the same time you know you know when when the trailer came out and when the teaser also came out we never thought that this film is going to be on you know domestic violence or you know it's going to talk you know touch such subjects which are so societal so delicate to touch we actually felt like you know maybe it's something between alia and shefali shah and wo log kuch karne ki koshish kar rahe hain and they are trying to like trap some you know men around them and on and it actually came across like that but the moment you watch it you go through those characters you know there are so much of emotion out of it you know beat even alia beat even shefali shah like you know when she thinks about her past journey and when she doesn't want the same for her own daughter it's very very thoughtful while making such a movie at the same time on ott to have that you know that fo- foothold is very difficult how did you manage to reach the audience which would relate to you know a content like this how did i manage to reach a uh, see the marketing campaign while start from the beginning hmm. the first one line of the story was two women who are trying to find their place in this male dominated world hmm. and are trying to set this girl's marriage on track the daughter's marriage on track so that actually became the marketing campaign which you're saying if you got that through it hmm. ke uh, yeah there is something but you, you don't want to you want to give out the only that much in a marketing campaign so that people are interested to watch your film hmm. uh i hope that worked well for us and uh, by reach i think if you when when you may tell a story and you're true to the story and you're true to the characters and people connect with your character and root for it i think then the and and then then people connect with the story and they love and they give you a lot of love for it mm. uh alia and the film helps so much because you know with her fan base the reach is far more you you know because as storytellers all you want is your story to reach more and more people mm. with all these amazing actors coming on board it helps that people want to see what they are doing together mm. i think people also had a had an interest ke what are these four this there was an intrigue around this cast seems interesting mm. right even uh, of course story is king content is king the trailer mm. i think is the main thing but 
Uh, so your reach is far more because of that. And I'm so happy that people saw, liked, and you saw it twice, you said. Yeah. So that's great. I mean, thank you for that. But were you also involved in the casting process? Like, did you personally choose these characters who are featuring in the movie? Be it even, you know, Badru Kaashik, you know, be it Vijay Verma, be it Shefali, be it Alia for that matter, you know, every single character. Were you in the casting process as well? Of course, uh, yeah. we had a casting director, but you know, uh, I got my dream cast and you won't believe, but I did get my dream cast. Yeah. Uh, we cast Alia first. And I always wanted uh, Vijay Varma for Hamza. Mm. And uh, at the writing stage, I knew, okay, okay this, I, wish, I think he'll be the right Hamza. Mm. And Alia one day on a Zoom call said, you know, what about Vijay Varma for Hamza? So that is a great thing. I think yeah. everybody was in sync. Shamshu, uh, when I met Shefali, I knew she's Shamshu. Mm. I'm telling you. And I think she also says that and she connected with the script instantly. And she had never done something like this. And when I met her, I realized that Shefali is full of life, full of spunk. Uh, she has no filter, she says what she feels like. So those qualities were very important for Shamshu. I mean, I always knew she's a good actor, but you know, it's so nice to connect like that. Mm -hmm. um, Roshan Casting Bay Anmol actually suggested Roshan's name. I watched his films, we auditioned him. Just to see if you're on the same page, I auditioned Roshan alone on a Zoom. Mm -hmm. And it okay. was, uh, that those were new, new uh, the, the early pandemic days where people yeah. were getting used to Zoom. Yeah. And he was alone in his room and it was very odd for him, but I think he killed it. So he's in the film. So yeah, I got my dream cast, even all the other actors, because one works on all the characters, their whole arc. I think every character is important in a film. Even Kasim Bhai, who barely mm. speaks in the film. And I met Rajesh Sharma and I said, Sir, dialogue nahi bolna hai. Mm. I mean, jitna, I mean, jitna kam hoga, utna impact aega. And he mm. was all for it. So and that is of amazing. course, you know, his character itself is, you know, it has that impact, you know, for sure. The way he's there around them. At the same time, Shefali talks with her eyes. That's what I feel, you know. I have, you know, complimented her, you know, when I've done interviews with her also, you know. I've seen her in Delhi Crime. I've seen her in so many films, you know, Dil Dhadak Nedo also for that matter, you know. Her, she speaks with her eyes. And even in this one, you know, the way she feels that anger when, you know, she sees, you know, Alia going through a certain situation. How would you define her, you know, as an actress for that matter? Unpredictable mm -hmm. and spontaneous and intense. But Alia, oh, yeah, sorry, uh, Shefali is very organic. But mm -hmm. she's, she, she, you know, I kept talking to her about the character and I prepped with her uh, for a long time before we went on set. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she absorbs everything and then the shoot day is a shoot day. Mm -hmm. And she comes there and she performs. Yeah. And she's uh, very, very spontaneous, which is lovely. Mm -hmm. Which is lovely because, you know, uh, comic timing needs that. Chemistry needs that. And this mm -hmm. film needed all of that. So, yeah, she's amazing. I love her. So it had humor, it also had dark sense of humor, it had ups and downs and even the character of, you know, uh, who plays Vijay Varma's, uh, you know, this, uh, the, the, boss? the boss, yeah, yeah. even his character, yeah, even he is quite like, you know, quite like the way he is, you know, in the TT character, like he is like that completely. So I must say the casting is very good. At the same time, having Alia Bhatt as an actress and as a producer, how was that for you? I'm spoilt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I had Alia who's, of course, we know how talented she is mm. and uh, she's amazing to work with. Um, she is my darling. She is, a, I think she'll be a very, very, very good producer because she just gives you wings to fly. Mm. And uh, for her to choose a script like this, you know, and she's always done it. She's always taken risks in her career, which people call risks. I don't know how that, but you know, people, uh, they're brave choices. She likes mm. to challenge herself. And uh, being where she is after so many years of stardom, she's still hungry to do better, yeah. you know, and that is so infectious. It's so, it's so inspiring and, uh, and you learn so much also, mm. right? So she gives, she's a giver. Mm. She gives so much to the film. Uh, see, obviously she preps a lot and she comes prepared to set and, uh, and she understands the nuances of a character. Mm. Uh, you can, I spoke to her a lot about Badrunissa's character, about Baikala, about how they live, who they are, who the character is. Seen Baikala, so. so you know, so you know, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I hope we met, met your expectations. <laughs> But she, and she just absorbs everything, but she's also very giving towards other actors, towards mm -hmm. the film. The mm -hmm. film comes first, the story comes first for her. And she surrenders to the director because she's so hungry to pick up more. Mm -hmm. And that's amazing. So I'm so spoiled. it talks about the chawl area and all, you know, their lifestyle and all. But at the same time, it talks about that, you know, that characters of, you know, who are from the low middle class families and, you know, how they go through. 
so sometimes you feel like you know maybe your maid might also be going through something like that you know and some you may never know what exactly happens to their lives at the same time you know as you said like you know alia has been quite you know quite a blessing for you but as a producer was she somewhere controlling was she trying to say that ye nahi wo nahi you know maybe this is where you should be you just reserving the you know character or you know reserving your thoughts on was there anything like that if you remember bilkul nahi in fact so on set it was completely your free hand Yes uh, see the thing is that uh, she was an actor on set and i think she came on board because she liked the script she obviously connected with the vision that i had uh, narrated to her and uh, once she once she came on board she was flying with the film as i said she when you know when everybody is focused towards the film first mm. it's amazing then you don't then then it then it's a it's a it's an uh, healthy collaboration mm. so she was an actor on set mm. she wore the producer's hat uh, post in the post uh, later on because when she saw the first edit and mm. her reaction was very special because she liked it a lot mm. because the story fell in place for her after that yeah maybe in marketing and of course she had a uh, 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 she participated in marketing and i think people have really liked how we've promoted the film mm. so um, i wouldn't say controlling i think she understands the director's vision and empowers the director which is mm. a very good quality for a producer to have mm. and uh, whenever you need the support of course she's there of course she has your back if you need it yeah at the same time there was this one scene which became viral on the internet and people started like you know actually uh, trolling the film because of the oil she's putting which is a branded oil so people started saying that you know she belongs to a low middle class family so how can she afford an expensive oil what are your thoughts on that you know you know uh, i went to i did 3 4 months of research in baikala and uh, there is always that one thing on in your dressing table or in your cupboard which you can't afford which you will have it's aspirational like a mac lipstick or an iphone or this hair oil so there's always one thing you have mm. in your cupboard which you will buy which you will save money and buy it mm. and they all had that believe me they are wearing sneakers sometimes which you which you know i may not be wearing mm. and i saw that everywhere and everybody had their own choices whatever they uh, mm. they want and they like to uh, buy so that's why mm. so they, so these women had that hair oil so it's not like you know it's the choices which they already had which you saw in reality so of course like that clarifies a lot to the people see, out there because see everybody has that one thing yeah everybody has and uh, people have their own choices also no for that matter like agar pasand hai to pasand hai eventually like ha theek hai main kaise bhi afford karke lekar aa par ek wo cheez hoti hai na ki mujhe watches ka shauk hai ya mujhe jooto ka shauk hai ya mujhe oil ka shauk hai ya lipstick ka shauk hai ya perfume kuch bhi ek hote hai sab kuch aap nahi khareed sakte sometimes so i for me it was like it is an aspiration Also, what I really want to, you know, ask you is what was Shah Rukh's reaction because you know post the film and pre the release of the film because you know the moment you must have you know spoken about the script about the, you know this is what you want and after the movie actually came on the canvas you know and his family members saw the people saw fans saw what was his reaction? Both the reactions I really wish to know. The first time we uh, I went to Red Chillies, uh, I narrated the script to Shah sir. and he really liked it which is why he probably produced it mm. um he even came up with that marketing campaign line that time mm. this is the script narration ke aur aurat ka apmaan aapke liye hanikarak ho sakta hai mm. and that became a marketing campaign because it just happened uh, once he heard the script mm. to unko to pasand aayi thi tab uh, aur phir unko unko mother daughter ki chemistry bahut pasand aayi thi and he was hoping we'll get it right after shooting unko hamza ka character bahut bahut interesting laga tha especially second half mein jab wo banda hua and he said bahut comedy aa rahi hai he could see it even yeah. then mm. of course I, i we were we were trying to achieve that too and then after he saw the film unko bahut pasand aaya yaar unhone bola achhi film bana di and uh, and uh, yeah i think he's very happy that we are all getting so much love because you don't know right and uh, so i was very his reaction was very special for me because he really really liked it mm. he saw it with his family they all enjoyed it so i'm very happy and it's your debut movie so you didn't want it to be in theaters out there and not on netflix for that matter look uh, i think if a film is good it finds you and you find it wherever you want to watch it whether it's in the theater or on your phone or on your uh, home screen you find it and that's what is a power of a good film so if you really want to watch it you find a way and netflix see oh, all over the world people are watching it True. you know and it's 190 countries it's it's great for me so i'm very happy that 
people are giving me the love they are giving me and so many people are watching the film mm. and that's what you want as a storyteller you want people to watch your film and yeah. then of course whatever they whether they like it or don't like it uh, but thankfully for us people are watching and liking and sending us a lot of love but were you also skeptical uh, you know were you a bit skeptical in terms of you know while it's your debut movie it is something which you know you are just presenting to the people and you are just you know presenting a fresh thing of yours were you a bit skeptical a bit nervous how it would be you know how it would turn out what kind of reactions get sure you're not i mean i mean of course you're uh, mm. you're you wonder what reactions you'll get but i wanted to tell a film which had my voice mm. and uh, i think it's very important to make the film you want to make mm. and uh, luckily uh, i got support from eternal sunshine red chilies alia shah so everybody got of mm. to do that and it was like the kainat working for you in a way yeah because you know you want to tell this story which is yeah. a dark comedy it's issue based you're trying to be sensitive towards an issue there's only that much you know you have to get everything right mm. and uh, i wanted to tell a story which had my voice and these mm. people showed faith and they said okay fine run with it mm. and you know that's that combination uh, is, is i'm very grateful for mm. so uh, i was not skeptical ki how I'll, of course you always work towards making the film that you want to make and telling the story you want to tell mm. and you say okay this works for you then it's out then you present it to the people and the film has a life of its own and you don't know this is my first film so i don't know the thrill there was a thrill there's nervous energy your day before release ki how will people react mm. of course you do screenings before that yeah like you show it to people who uh, you love or, or you know your your relatives and friends or people in the film industry and you know uh, apart from of course alia and shasha who watched it much earlier you get their reactions and uh, so you understand that the film is connecting mm. now then audience is king so if they like it and your voice resonates with them i think there's nothing better you can ask for and we also believe that the film is going to release in telugu you're planning to come with that what is what are your what what plan kar rahe hain producers are planning it let's see abhi this is a very early stage but yeah they're planning to make it for sure but as i said like you know this is of course the conversation about darlings and all you know we have spoken so much about it what made you come into the world of direction what was your thought process because you know it's a lot of you know work on your shoulders it's not easy you know it is a lot like as much as it's an actors movie it's more of a directors movie because if the direction goes wrong the acting no matter you know how good they could be people mm-hmm. judge a lot for the directors you know movie so how you know how did you start your journey for that matter i really wish to know that It, i didn't i didn't dream i didn't grow up becoming a wanting to become a filmmaker i explored couple of other careers uh, including ca and advertising okay. during advertising i fell in love with filmmaking because i saw shoots happening i was working with agencies mm. and there i said okay let me just start assisting on ad films and learn and learn and learn, learn mostly self taught mostly on set i went to film school pune but just for a summer course mm. so i started like uh, t- learning filmmaking because you know when you find what you want to do and you love you start of course you have to uh, develop the skill set to do it mm. and once you develop the skill set you shoot small small short films or ad films to, just to try your hand and see if you are good at it yeah. and uh, and you devote yourself to it and uh, what made me want to do with this because once i started doing it uh, once i started assisting i knew that i could do this for the rest of my life mm. i knew that uh, you wake up in the morning and if you can it just brings you so much joy yeah. to do what you love to do mm. and if you can do that like i love to write also mm. i like to write and direct mm. so if i can do that for the rest of my life and have a career get paid for it there's nothing better i think it's a privilege to find it and uh, and uh, yeah make yourself work hard towards it mm. for sure you have to keep working hard i think mm. and because you want to give it your best mm. so yeah um you just find what you love and then you go for it but at the same time in this industry you know you you being a fresh director it's not that easy as i said you know in the in the past also you know during this interview itself that you know it's not easy to have a foothold yeah. how do you manage that it must be very tough for you i must say that i worked very hard yeah. uh, i worked on lots of ad films feature films i mm. wrote scripts there was another script i wrote before this mm. uh, i met people through that script mm. that script i wanted to direct it didn't fall in place in time because it was taking some time it was a bit ambitious the project mm. and uh, but but through that people at least read my script gave me writing work 
and I started writing for uh, other producers and directors, collaborated with Parvez on other scripts also. Mm. So you keep working at it. You yeah. write scripts, you pitch, mm. uh, you meet people, you see, you understand there where they are coming from, you make changes, you know, you pitch again if, mm. if, if they want a revised draft. I think you have to just keep at it mm. and keep your focus strong. And if you can do that um, and have patience mm. for sure, because uh, everything doesn't happen as per your plan. Everything has to align, right? True. When I wrote Darlings also, I we wrote it in 2018 or 2019. Mm. We shot it in 2021 mm. and now it's releasing. So, mm. you know, it takes time to make something. I mean, biryani mm. banani is the time to go, <laughs> is what I say. But yeah, so you have to work hard at it. Everybody, mm. I think everybody works hard at it. Yeah. Uh, it's not just me. I think all this whole industry, I think people really have uh, big dreams mm. and lots of stories to tell. And they keep at it. You have to just keep at it. And what's next for you? I'm writing Abhi. Mm. So we'll decide in some time. But how do you prefer your day to be like that, you know, for that matter? Uh, because you have your, you know, hectic work schedules. You have so many things, you know, you're planning and all. How is your day like? My day like? Oh, yeah. I'm a very early riser. Mm. Uh, uh, I wake up at 5. I write in the mornings, I exercise wow. and write every morning, almost. Mm. Uh, and uh, when I'm not shooting, I'm writing. When I'm shooting, of course, I'm prepping or uh, uh, working towards the film. And uh, yeah, I sleep early in the evenings. Uh, I, I eat early. So yeah, that's my day. Like, I mean, in the, so I write in the mornings. I have meetings mostly in the day. And in the evening, I unwind. So that's how usually it is. But uh, but the film industry is not that structured because, you know, shoots with shoots and with other people's timing, you have to adjust and I'm happy to do that. Yeah. And at the same time, as you said, like, you know, your day is like that, you know, planned and all. You have, of course, you know, as I said, like, you know, you did, you did achieve something. That is why, you know, we have loved that movie so much. So what is that one takeaway from the movie which will always be, you know, close to your heart? From my movie, the whole yeah. movie is like cho choosing between children. Yeah. My Darling is my movie first and you know the whole movie, yeah, it's a, it's a story I wanted to tell. I wanted to tell it this way uh, and uh, this first movie will always be very, very special because it's the first, it's the first yeah. time that you are presenting something to the world and, and you give it to the world, right, to, for your audience. So the takeaway. It's the whole movie. I can't pick one scene or no, I cannot do that. I can tell you like scenes which I like, I don't like, but and I, I like. It reminds me actually of Alia also, you know, saying, you know, when uh, she had done Razi and I said like, you know, one takeaway. She's like, no, it's like, you know, having a child. So you don't pick, pick up, you know, one point out of the, the person. You like the entire person, no, for that matter. Yeah, so that is the same thing. you fall in love with someone. You can't like say a child only yeah. love this about yeah. them. Then you're yeah. not in love with that person. You're loving that quality. Yeah. So movies also like a baby, yeah, I'm telling you. Like yeah. your own movie is like your baby. I mean, even Alia would say this as a producer also. But yeah. for a director, so you know, you live with it for so long. You live yeah. with your characters for so long. They're almost like walking around you. Yeah. So the whole film will be always special. Yeah. Yeah. And before I let you go, of course, you said like, you know, you cannot reveal much details about your next year planning. But if there is any actor in your mind, you know, who you, who you would like to cast? So many people. No, I will go by <laughs> once. Once I tell you which story, it'll be better to do it that way. But will we get to see even Shah Rukh for that matter in your films? Because you know we really want to see him doing something different, <laughs> apart from what he's been doing for so long. You know, romanticizing and you know doing the characters such differently. We really wish to see him in different characters, like Dear Zindagi for that matter was such a brilliant film. So will we get to see him? You should ask different? him that. I love <laughs> Shah sir. He's uh, he's been a fantastic producer for me right now. So right now we are just like so happy with darlings. Mm -hmm. But please ask him. He's doing some lovely films right now. Yeah, three uh, of his films are coming. But you know at the same time. There is this thing that you know we really like to see him in different characters. Like for that matter, even you know, even Jaban for that matter looks quite different as compared to what Shah Rukh Khan has been, or even you know uh, the other film with Atli. So with you, you, I really want you to see that you know because you bring different element out of him. Maybe. Oh ho! Maybe. Inshallah, I don't know. Uh, I think Shah can do anything. Mm -hmm. I think it's up to him to choose his films because I think he can do anything. Really, he's a very very good actor. So much experience. I mean, he's magical on screen so yeah i think he can do anything well different not different i think uh, his choice of films now i think he's shooting so many films mm. i think we'll all enjoy them and i'm waiting to watch them myself thank you so much for your time and all the very best for your upcoming projects